It is a devastating accident also under investigation. One person was killed, five others hurt in a crane collapse in Dallas yesterday. That happened as an unusually strong thunderstorm passed through North Texas. Two of the injured are still in critical condition. Of course, that accident has left a lot of people worried that something like this could happen here in Music City. With a crane on almost every corner, News Channel 5 Cena Slee went to find some answers. Seems like everywhere you turn in downtown Nashville, you can find a crane. But after the incident that happened in Dallas, many people are worried that something like that could happen here. As Music City grows in popularity, the number of construction cranes also grows. Everywhere you look, it's there's a new one going up. Because of the Dave Roanhouse owns Excel that? Industries in Springfield, Tennessee, an overhead crane work. specialist company. He was stunned watching the video of the crane collapsing in Dallas. It, it is surprising. The crane collapse is being investigated. Right now, it's too early to tell what exactly led to the tragic incident. At the end of the day, you know, it's, it's kind of one of the, the standards. Are, are the people meeting what's supposed to be done as far as the work they do? There is a nationwide requirement that crane operators be certified by a third party. TOSHA also conducts inspections, whether it's an unscheduled inspection or in response to a complaint. But even after following every rule and regulation, sometimes these kinds of incidents can be out of our hands. It's a machinery. It's a piece of machinery. From time to time, you know, machinery fails. Um, so you have to have your first backup, your second backup, and your third backup safety features to make sure that, that it doesn't fail. Oh my God, the crane is falling over. Cena oh Sleem, News Channel 5. If you're concerned about your safety living next to a crane, you can contact the general contractor of the construction site.